Hey guys and gals, Nary here for Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon, today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Glory Hound. So y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. I do not think you know. Once again, we fight real criminals. You came close to dying at Stir only one week ago. Not invite others to share that fate. I want to sink underground, well, even deeper underground, and disappear. All I can do is meet his eyes with my own. I know I effed up, but I need your help. Is your friend safe? They, they seemed okay, but they said Phil might be in trouble. They're going after her. Situation is most urgent. We will discuss lack of common sense later. Correct. If there's a civilian stuck at the gallery, there's not a moment to lose. Let's go save our friend, Spot. Uh, what's the best way to get back up there? By car, I'm afraid. Secret passage only goes one way. The look he gives his boss is one I haven't seen since I got terminated at my old job. This is why I told you not to press button. I grabbed the grappling gun and turned to the slide. There might be another way. You got one of the you got one of these two, Raul? Only a prototype. Oh, I see what you're planning. We'll just go back the way I came. It's a good infiltration point. Hell of a climb, though. We don't have another option. I aim up and squeeze my eyes shut, aiming the gun up at the dark void in front of me. Like this? Like that. Now just pull the trigger. I swallow, and after rethinking my entire life, as well as what led me to this point, I decided to follow through for Lou. I squeeze the trigger. It's not working. His mechanism jammed. It should work fine. Try again. I finally open my eyes again. I'm still standing there. I'm still standing here in the computer room. I feel almost weirdly relieved. I hate to tell you this, boss, but maybe you should take this one back to the drawing, but... Suddenly, I'm catapulted forward into the darkness. I'm sick in my stomach. I'm going faster upwards than I ever did going down. Holy shit! Holy shit! Must present your urge to vomit rising! Something clicks, and in my momentum slows. I'm left dangling for a moment before I pull myself up and clamber over the ledge I found myself at. I pull the trigger of the gun again, and it detaches itself from the wall, cord retracting on its own. I look over my shoulder. The slide gets less vertical from here, but I still have a lot of ground to cover. It smells real musty here, like Max's room on a Sat on Saturday levels of musty. Scratch that. The hen we were just still allowed to, the hen when the hen when we were still allowed to smoke inside levels of musty. I can see some light coming in from the other end, though there's rows upon rows of tunnels leading into this place. I wonder where all those go. Another grappling hook hits the wall behind me, yanking me back to reality and almost making me roll right back down the slide again. Whoa! I hear footsteps coming up behind me, laborious grunting as the boss struggles to pull himself up. Need a hand? Please. As I pull him up, I realize I hadn't considered how heavy he was before offering. I now wish I'd, wish, I wish I'd reconsidered. I got you. I got you. There. There we go. He stands up, out of breath, and we both peer into the dark tunnels ahead. And you thought it wouldn't work. I'm pretty sure it still shaved a couple years off my life. So, how far is it? It's gonna be a little hike. He claps my back. But it's nothing this team can't handle. Isn't it, like, on the other side of the town? How'd I even drop down to the lair that fast? These tunnels are very efficient. That tells me nothing. I wish I was half as optimistic as this guy. My earpiece crackles and I hear and I hear Milo's voice. Are both of you still in World of Living? Barely. We're in tip-top shape, Raven 3. Over. Raven 3? I figured I'd give you a code name as well. What do you think? Over. There's a moment of silence on the other end of the line. I am not Raven. But it sounds mysterious, dashing, handsome, over. Well, I'm neither mysterious nor dashing. So he's not denying the handsome part. Naming sensibility leaves much to be desired. It will do for now. The goal is straight ahead from your location. Exercise caution and restraint. Thank you, over and out. He nudges me, then tilts his muzzle to the darkness in front of us. We're here. I squeeze through the hole in the wall at the end of the tunnel and emerge in the bathroom stall. Roll comes out behind me right before the mechanism activates and the wall rises up from the ground again, the toilet returning to its usual position. Everything's back to normal. It's almost kind of creepy. Um, <laughs> With the door still locked, it's very, very cramped. While this stall looks like it was made for larger species, they probably didn't take multiple people into account. Roll's practically got me pinned against the door. Not that I mind terribly. Second, y'all. Coffee time.
I'm sorry, would you mind getting the door? I can't reach the lock from here. Of course, just let me... I take my time trying to find the doorknob on purpose, but he doesn't need to know. He smells good. Look at them bulges. Look at them bulges. That ought to do it. Thank you. Raven 3, we have touched ground in the men's room. Over. That is good. If possible, try to stay hidden from enemy, then engage in ambush. We're gonna fight guys with weapons? That is accurate assessment. You do want to save friend and Miss Fenna, do you not? Normally I would suggest avoiding combat situation, but that is not always option. Uh, Alright. I'm not sure I'll survive this, but I have to try. We inconspicuously sneak into the hallway, which is empty now. Empty and dead silent. I'm getting some haunted museum vibes. Rose's company doesn't make it feel any less off. At least the art's still on the walls. Isn't this an amazing spot? We get to stop an we get to stop an actual art heist. I'm pretty nervous, actually. Nervous? Ha! Huh. Why? You'll do great. They won't know what hit him. Aren't you scared a at all? A true hero of justice trusts in his abilities, his tools, and his companions. We have everything at, your at our disposal to win this. Just stick with me. I'd be lying if I said that his ludicrous amounts of confidence aren't at least a little infectious. But maybe he's faking this thing just as hard as I am. He beckons me down the hall and I follow. I hear- Every noise I hear makes me jump. I even got like, uh, every shadow I see. Sorry about that. Eventually, Raul sidles up on, on up to a corner and I crash down next to him. Alright, most of this junk ain't even worth the trouble, Polly. I know that voice all too well. Been in my nightmares all week. I peek around the corner and see the Barracuda standing next to the parrot janitor from before. Guess we weren't the only ones to change clothes. Rock! The junk! Ain't why we're here, Ishmael. Right, we be here for the for that spotty straggler. Are they talking about me? I want to say something, but Roel shushes me. Rock! No shenanigans! Captain only wants him tossed out. I figured I could still have a little fun while we'd be at it. Got a mighty score to settle. If Cap'n gets cross, you'll be on your own. A risk I'd be willing to take. He did say he ran, he ran starboard, didn't you, matey? Right as rain, he did. Down the hall, then starboard. Are you sure you didn't miss your directions again, up again, Ishmael? Starboard be left, correct? Starboard be right, you fool! It be left! Right! Left! Right! And start it! Why can't we not just say left and right? This is why you're still the cabin boy, and I be a cabin's right hand man. Don't you be starboard hand don't you be starboard hand man. Rolls slowly crouches closer and beckons for me to follow. I move as quietly as I can while the two continue their increasingly inconsistent pirate bickering. This is perfect. I'm so loud they'll never hear us. Strife of Life is the most recent work of renowned painter Lojwick Jen. Janinskov. Lojwick Janinskov. What deity did Anger deserve this kind of bad luck? Roll and I take cover behind the corner again. Alright, one second, y'all. Water, uh, coffee time. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. The audio tour voice is so loud, the fish and parrot duo immediately look over at the painting. Did you do that, Ishmael? No, I don't think so. It depicts the struggle between nature and machine. Make it stop. I don't know how. Roll beckons me, jumping out from behind the corner. They've still got their backs turned to us. Halt, evildoers! I swear in me bones, this be the last time I'd be taking you anywhere. I could be any, I could be any fun to be around. The boss clears his throat. I said, halt, evildoers! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, can it wait for a bit? We'd be in the middle of... You! You're the fucker, I mean, er, you be the landlubber from the store. That's right, it is I, the Dawnhound. Be you for real? The parrot bursts out laughing. This be the man who sent you home crying, Ishmael. Throwing pirates overboard is a little hobby of mine. Well, you won't be so lucky this time, sailor. You may be rather large and have muscles larger than a frigate. He looks Raul up and down. And be rather handsome. But it'd still be two against one. Raul pulls me out of the shadows, and all of a sudden I'm staring down two extremely dangerous, most likely armed men. They stare at me like I'm some sort of oddity. Dusk has come to, uh, uh dusk has come! I flex, judging by the looks of their faces, it doesn't particularly impress. 
Great entrance spot. Though I'd say your posing needs some work. Try something like this. He strikes a pose himself while I maintain uncomfortable eye contact with the parrot. This one wasn't there last time. They have a two-for-one at the freak store. Funny, I was about to say the same thing. How many curtains did you need to sew together to make that pirate get up? Oh, God. Oh, no. At least mine ain't made of rubber, you scallywag. He takes a deep breath and slicks the feathers on top of his head back. No, happy thoughts, Polly, happy thoughts. The calm as the waves. The barracuda turns to him. The hell with the waves. What are you waiting for, Polly? Let's get them. Now, now. You know how I feel about getting me nails dirty, Ishmael. I just had myself a mani-pedi, and me psychiatrist said. He does have really pretty nails. And here I thought you were a bird of paradise or whatever the seven seas you call it. Turns out you're just a big chicken. No, oh, God. What did you call me? A chicken. Your friend there has a point. That's it. I've had it. You want violence? I'll give you violence. <laughs> oh, what a quote. You want violence? I'll give you... Oh, my God. Come at us, fiend. The parrot charges towards him with a screech like a shattered glass. The barracuda hot on his heels. Okay, Spot, let's knock some heads together. Easy for you to say. What do I do? I could not be less prepared for this if I tried. Think, Al, think. A true hero trusts his tools, his abilities, and his companions. While Royal enters a fighting stance, I aim my grappling hook down the hall, just past them. I hope this works. I squeeze the trigger and immediately surge forward as the hook's speared into the wall. Dusk strike! I tuck in my legs, only having a second to regret the choices that led me here before kicking the two thieves as hard as I can. I fly backward, hitting the ground in perfect sync. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to stop this thing yet, and soon I soon fall I'm smacking against the wall hard. Ow! Spot, are you okay? I am most decidedly not. Ah, my back. At least this time I have no one but myself to blame. That was quite the stunt you pulled. You knocked him out cold. Huh, guess I did. I squeeze the trigger again, yanking the hook from the wall. Then, then I collapse. Ah! I'm starting to like this thing. Oh my god. Alrighty. Mr. Ahab, sir, I found this cat prancing about in the halls. Let me go! Yo ho ho! Another straggler, eh? What should we do with them? Tie him up and put him in the brig with the curator, Cam. Camo. We can't have any interlopers swimming about. Ha ha ha! You can't be serious. By brig, you mean what exactly? Janitor's closet. How droll. It went over this in your orientation, lad. You're assuming I understood even half of what you were saying. Listen to your captain, rookie, or you'll be joining him and uh, joining him and make no and no mistake. If you take care of the dress like I asked you to, the dress is safe and sound. Remarkably heavy, by the way. I, if you think I'm putting up with any of your shit, it would be in your best interest to comply, cat. Or what? I have seven children waiting for me back home, and they have sharper teeth than you. As a matter of fact, I can do far worse than. Dawn has come to vanquish the night. The jig is up, Ahab. Let that civilian go. As I heroically dash, or well, attempt to dash, onto the scene, I come face to chest with a very large janitor from before. Except he's somehow wearing even less this time. Then it hits me. You're Ahab? I turn to Raoul. This is Ahab? In the flesh, laddie. You'd be just in time to join this mutineer here in the brig while we abscond with the poxy gown. Not if we have anything to say about it, right, Spot? Big. Whale. Man. Huge. Whale. Man. Spot? Honestly, as far as experiences go, big man hitting me, big man hitting on me turned out to be a supervillain isn't even the worst thing that's happened to me. I could work with that. I can fix him. I can fix him! <laughs> oh my god. Spot? Right. I guess I'm here to kick his ass. His brown... Toned. Beautiful ass. Spot! <laughs> right, right. Uh, are you alright, low? I, I mean, citizen? Ow, is that you under there? Yeah, it's no, 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 no. It, it's, it's Dusk Hound, Champion of Justice. Why are you wearing. What is that? Is that a collar? It's, it's my uniform, citizen. 
Uniform? You... No, excuse me. You look like a clown! I have to agree with your companion. Your choice of fashion, and I... Your choice of fashion, and I use that term lightly, leaves much to be desired. I mean... <clears throat> let my friend go, supervillain! Quite frankly, you look like you fell down a flight of stairs at a thrift store and hit every bargain rack on the way down. Ooh, that's ass. That's kind of harsh, but... I'm being constructive here, but you may want to stop shop elsewhere in the future, for all of our sakes. Lou, you might want to duck. We lock eyes for a second before they dive out of the way, leaving plenty of room for the barrel of my grappling gun to connect with the chameleon's head. Ow! At the very least, it causes him to let go. Ow. Oh. Oh! He clutches his face and dramatically spins in place. You ingrate! You hit my nose! Oh, and the surgery scars had just healed! I tip my muzzle towards Lou. Fetch security and get out while you still can, citizen. There's trouble brewing. Alex. Whoa, secret identity. Don't cause a scene. Right, right. I'll head off. Just stay safe, okay? I, you know how bad I am at not following your advice! Powerful hands grip my shoulders. The next thing I know, I'm flung through the air head first. I have a split second to question my life before my sudden flight is rudely interrupted by the Rottweiler I crash into. Ow. Hate to break up a touching moment and all, but our ship's about to set sail, and we have no use for stowaways. Last thing I hear is the chameleon's chuckle echoing through the gallery. Ma oh boy. Are you sure he's okay? He does seem rather out of it, doesn't he? Ow! Fear not, Just Count has faced, for fa faced far greater challenges than this. You know you don't have to keep up the act. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, force I have it. My head is still spinning. Uh, wh what happened? Ah, you've come too. Excellent. Did, did we win? Honestly, no. It could have gone either way, really. I sit up. It's like I got hit by a train. He didn't hurt you, did he? After you guys got knocked out, they said they had what they came for and kind of just left. It was pretty anticlimactic. Your friend ended up rescuing me from my unfortunate predicament in the janitor's closet. Gotta love the way this woman makes getting locked in a closet sound like a minor inconvenience. You really had no idea your janitors were villains this entire time? Oh, one second, y'all. I believe I have gone over. Anyway, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.